in this video we'll uh, look into transferring sql server objects from one database to another database using ssis so for that let us see the tables which we want to transfer so here there is a test uh, database and there is a marks table here i want to transfer it to you right click this marks there are uh, some six records in this so i want to copy that to sql basics uh, database i want to copy it here so using ssis let us go to ssis drag transfer sql server objects task Double click objects source connection. Have this uh, if this is not there already created here. Let me delete this here. Delete uh, if I want to transfer it to objects source connection. There's nothing there, so new connection and I have to give the server name. Server name you can get it from the properties here right click properties server name uh, go back test it test connection read it windows authentic and some source database Source database is test database and destination connection is the same uh, same server destination database is uh, we are transferring it to SQL basics drop objects first there is no objects to drop so copy data is yes true Exit the same data will be replaced. Uh, if you want to append, you can append it. But currently, there is no table there, so we are just transferring the old table there. Copy schema. Schema is by default, it's true. Uh, use collation. So if you go down, objects to copy. Here, you can copy the objects you want. Copy all objects is false. So click here. Want to copy that table? So table list marks. Want to copy the marks table? If you want to copy the indexes, triggers, and all these uh, primary keys, you can make these as true. Okay. Save. Start. Or execute. Executing. Succeeded. Package execution completed with success. Let's go back to here and to the SQL basics let's right click table refresh we have the marks table here select top thousand rows all the six rows are copied so we copied the both the table and the data from here from the test uh, database to SQL basics database. We copied the marks table and we copied the data of that table too from SSIS. So that's how you can use the transfer SQL server objects task to copy the objects you need from one database to another database. Let us transfer some more objects. So let us 
create a table in the objects in the test database and then from the test database we'll transfer it to on SQL basics database so let us create in test database create table test dot dbo dot copy test copy test is the table name so m id int should be not null and let us declare it as primary key because we want to copy the primary keys also m name the care of key now let us insert values in insert into s dot dbo dot copy test values one comma a and let us insert two more values here this would be two comma b would be three comma c so let us create this table yes Execute. I'm missing this comma here. Execute. Right click tables. Fresh. The copy test table has been created. We have the columns MP ID, PK primary key, MP name. So once we declare it. As a primary key, it will automatically create the clustered index. This clustered index has been created. If I double click this, it will open. Let's open this screen here. So, copy test. This index name is pk underscore copy test unique cluster. MP ID ascending. Now let us insert some values into this table. Execute. Let us select star from test dot dbo dot copy test so if i execute this one two three abc data is there in this copy test table so now we'll transfer this table and this primary key and this class index and let us create a non cluster index to create index to see one on this table and on the column jump name So 
that does execute this and right click indexes refresh the non clustered index has been created double click this you can see this table name is copy test index name nc1 non clustered index type and amp name we created it on amp name ascending So we'll copy all these into the SQL basic database. So if I now go here and double click on that objects copy data is true. Now let us give the, the connections. So this is the server name and the source database is the test database we have created the objects in the test database and destination we want to transfer them to the same server and the database is a SQL basics database from test we are transferring it to SQL basics database and copy data should be true And uh, if I go down objects to copy table list, we are copying the copy test table. And if I go down copy indexes, yes, we created index and we want it to be copied to copy primary keys yes we created a primary key and we want it to be copied to okay save execute Pass failed here already exists in the database error table copy test already exists in the database so let us delete from the sql basics here there is a copy test so let me delete this so now we have deleted is from the SQL basics database now let us go back and execute it again so it completed successfully now if I go to that SQL basics now we don't see it here so we'll right click tables refresh so here is the copy test the key primary key has been copied and the columns empire the amp name and right click copy test and select the data has been copied and now let us check the indexes the so nc1 non clustered index and this uh, clustered index both of them have been copied thus we can use the transfer sql server object to this task to copy the objects from one location to another location if you like the video please subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button for notifications on upcoming videos please click on the bell icon